What is a Karen? Unpacking the meme and its meaning. Hey everybody, Define Channel here, today. We're diving into the cultural phenomenon that is Karen. This slang term has exploded in popularity. But just who is a Karen? Is it just a funny meme? Or does it carry deeper meaning? Buckle up, because we're unpacking the Karen meme, exploring its origins, and examining the social commentary it represents. 1. Birth of a Meme From stereotypes to buzzwords, the term Karen emerged organically from online communities, particularly Black Twitter, where it served as a catchphrase for describing a specific type of behavior. Imagine a middle-aged white woman, often with a specific haircut picture Karen Gosselin's blonde bob circa 2008, who wields her perceived privilege like a weapon, entitled, demanding, and prone to dramatic meltdowns, especially towards service workers. The Karen stereotype quickly resonated with its dark humor and relatable commentary on power. Dynamics 2. The Layers of Entitlement Unmasking the Karen Behavior But Karen isn't just about haircuts and temper tantrums. It delves into deeper issues of entitlement and privilege. Karens typically belong to a demographic that historically faces fewer societal hurdles. This sense of unearned advantage often manifests as an inflated sense of importance and a disregard. For social boundaries, we see Karens demanding the manager making racist assumptions or throwing public tantrums when things don't go their way. Their entitlement fuels these outbursts fueled by the belief that they deserve special treatment, often at the expense of others. 3. Beyond the Meme The Mirror to Social Bias The Karen Meme Through its humor Also holds a mirror to society's blind spots It highlights the subtle and ingrained biases that contribute to situations where someone's race, class, or perceived social status determines how they're treated The contrast between a Karen throwing a fit and a marginalized person quietly navigating unfairness becomes stark in the meme spotlight it forces us to acknowledge the unspoken rules of social engagement and how privilege can be abused, often at the cost of empathy and basic human decency. 4. Evolving beyond stereotypes, the dangers of generalization. While the Karen meme offers valuable social commentary, it's crucial to remember that it's based on a stereotype. Applying the label to broadly risks perpetuating harmful generalizations about entire demographics. Not all women named Karen behave this way, and judging individuals based on such broad strokes can be harmful and unjust. The key is to use the meme as a springboard for deeper conversations about privilege, entitlement, and social responsibility, ensuring it doesn't devolve into mere mockery or bullying. 5. From Karen to Community Building Empathy and Understanding So, what can we learn from the Karen phenomenon? Firstly, it's a reminder to check our own privilege and actively work towards fostering empathy and understanding in our interactions with others. Secondly, it encourages us to recognize and challenge unfair social dynamics, especially those that disproportionately impact marginalized groups. Finally, let's remember that humor, while powerful, must be wielded responsibly. Let's laugh at the Karens of the world. But let's also use their antics as a catalyst for positive change. Subscribe, like, and share. This journey through the Karen mean just scratched the surface. If you enjoyed this analysis, then hit the subscribe button and join the Define Channel community. Like and share this video with your friends. Let's spark more conversations about these important issues. Together, we can define not just words, but also a more empathetic and just society. Until next time, stay curious, stay critical, and stay tuned to Define Channel. Remember, always approach men's like Karen with a critical eye. They can be valuable tools for social commentary, but we must avoid their pitfalls of stereotyping and generalization. Use them as conversation starters, not blanket judgments. Let's laugh at the absurdities, but use the humor to build bridges of understanding and empathy.